is abroad, dear fellow citizens? Whether in Germany, France, Italy, Argentina, Peru, India, Morocco or Canada, I meet you wherever I go and I look forward to every meeting. Wherever you live, you take pride in our country. You are not uncritical, but express your wishes, ideas and recommendations for improvement. You are ambassadors for our country all year round and not just on the 1st of August. In deciding to live and work abroad, you have not turned your back on Switzerland. On the contrary, you are maintaining your cultural roots from afar. You uphold Swiss values even far from home and show the quality of our way of life. You contribute to and play an active part in your community. Thanks to you, Switzerland has become almost borderless. The 1st of August is an opportunity for us to celebrate Switzerland, our values and our successes. It is important to celebrate achievements. At the same time, not everyone is so fortunate and it is our duty to take responsibility. We are in a period marked by conflict, much violence and the repositioning of countries such as China, the United States and the UK. In these times, Europe needs to pull together. It is also time to think about Switzerland's future. How should we organize ourselves at home? How do we see our place in the world? Today, Switzerland is a rock of stability. Despite many uncertainties, we have been able to hold firm and maintain a good quality of life. However, our comfort zone has narrowed. For everything that happens in this world, whether a financial crisis, digitalization, the effects of climate change, violence, war and terror, migration, the still huge divide between rich and poor nations and technical progress, it all affects us in some way wherever we live. But we can meet these changes head on. As a country we are strong by having the courage to embrace change rather than criticize it. As a country, we are strong by having the courage to undertake reforms, even though they might be uncomfortable. As a country, we are strong when there is public debate and issues can be discussed openly. As a country, we are strong when we place the interests of the community before those of the few. Today, we could be mistaken for thinking the opposite is true. There seems to be a tendency towards protectionism and nationalist views. History has taught us better solutions tend to be reached by being open to new ideas. We can only make progress by keeping a level head, by being broad-minded and by retaining some humility. By exchanging views, ideas and plans and through cooperation, not confrontation. Ladies and gentlemen, let us take today's na National Day celebrations as an opportunity to consider these values and apply them to our lives. Use your experiences to show us how we in Switzerland, we can better ourselves. Share your broadened horizons. Your views are important to us, not just in votes and elections, although we very much value your participation there too. That is why the Federal Council is working with the cantons to make it possible for you to vote electronically in future. Thank you for all that you do for Switzerland from a distance. On behalf of the entire Federal Council and the whole of Switzerland, I wish you a happy 1st of August. Mm -hmm.